if anybody thinks we don't hear much about Hungary, uh, that they were uh, bad, as bad as Germany, but they were worse, maybe. I would say they were worse. They were very bad, very bad. Uh, I know that, uh, I remember, uh, when we got the first time to uh, Russia, and uh, we got out of the, play of the, of the trains, and they took us to that, uh, to um, uh, a place. We uh, unloaded, and we came to the that big school, and uh, the big school he didn't have no windows, no doors, uh, not even a uh, part of the roof was off too, from the bombs and from the shellings and from the things. Uh, but the, the it was inside. We, we had to show everything. We had to put in a blanket, everything. They they looked. Everybody, they looked over what they got from home, and if they uh, found something that they like, or useful for them, or, or, or a good sweater, or a good, even a blanket, they went ahead and took the blanket or the sweater, whatever they wanted it to take. My film would be, a, you know, a big film would be, for what? I, I didn't put them on, not even one in there, but mother said, take it, take it. So I took the film, and when he comes to the film, and he saw, saw it, he saw, it, everybody had them. Everybody had a fair set of film. So he says, uh, well, he cut off the, the, uh, the uh, laces, and, and threw the things in the, gar in, the, in the garbage, the rest of it, and that's it. And she, she says, this, this he could use for something. So he put him on a side there for himself. And at that time, it was unbelievable what, what happened. It was unbelievable. We, we didn't know what was happening all of a sudden. That mil those military police, they came. They had revolvers on the sides, but uh, they, they had sticks in their hands. Every one of them had a stick. And as they came in, they just started beating us up, just for no re for no reason, and they started yelling, uh, "Dirty Jew, dirty Jew, dirty Jew." They didn't know what happened. We said, "Why?" As soon as anybody said something, they beat him till till he kept quiet. They told him. Tell you gonna ask questions, we'll beat on you. And they all were just looking for the head. And we were trying to protect ourselves. Then he said, go. And then you have to grab the four corners. And if you didn't do it fast enough and everybody started beating up on you with the clubs, everybody had, all of them had clubs. There was about 20 of them. And they, they formed a, a line, one line from here and one line from there and you had to run towards the, the door. The door is, was outside, and there was snow in there, and you were barefooted. Uh, and, and I ran out. I remember what, what happened to me. <clears throat> and then I, and everybody was beating me over my head and over my shoulders all over with the clubs. They had clubs. And when I ran out, I wanted to put on my shoes because right away, because the, there was snow out, outside there. And I looked for the other shoe. I, I lost it in there. So I couldn't go in there. I wouldn't have gone in there for no money because I would have been killed the next the second time around. I was bloody all over. I have, I have still, my, my rings covered up. And outside was, was my, the captain from, that came with us from Hungary, and he cried himself. He, cried, he says, I cannot help. I cannot do nothing for you people. I don't know, but this is not what, what we're supposed to, they supposed to be. He didn't know about it himself. He says, what's, what's happening, what's waiting for, it, for, that, for them and for us. I remember I had a, on a scratch on my nose in here, and a, a, a broken nose. Maybe that's why I got the allergies now. My runny nose. I had I had problems, and I was 
I, I say it was broken, definitely, because it was blue and black and for m months and months and months. And uh, they, they even t told me, that when, when the guys came back, he said to me, you, you're going to die, he said to me. You're not going to make it. Or you're going to freeze to death, or you're going you're gonna to die, because look at you, what happened. Well, he knows what happened. So he, uh, I says to him, when I'm trying to put on my shoes, it's cold outside, the snow, everything is there, it's freezing, and uh, I have no shoes, I have only one shoe. So I says to him, what, what you going to do? Outside they didn't come, those guys. They didn't come outside. We just stayed inside to get through with us. And uh, our, our men were outside, but 20 people. So he asked one of, guy, of the guys to try to go in and see whether he'll find the other shoe. So he, he brought out the shoe.